A week is a long time in the jungle. What the hell is this? There's the potential for fireworks. And they've been pushed to their limits. So come on, it was one for all and all for one. We've got a big game plan. You win, you don't win. <laughs> I think there's too much rivalry going on. But the new arrivals have spoiled the party. Don't come in with that silly laugh. I'll wipe it off your face. I don't want to sleep in the cave. I just don't like David. No one else has cried when they told they're going to do the child. Ooh. What's he crying about? My feet are done. And one is about to face the toughest test of them all. I want to establish myself in the group. Two people can't see eye to eye. And they don't care who knows it. Tempers are starting to fray. On I'm a celebrity. Get, Get me out, out of here! here! Welcome to Sunday morning here in Australia. Well done to New Zealand in the Rugby World Cup, by the way. Yeah. Huh? You pleased about that? <laughs> One no? lone voice. Oh, <laughs> One lone cheer. I've started off well, oh. badly there. Oh. And get ready for an hour with 12 people who've definitely got the X Factor. We've got some unforgettable performances in store for you tonight. Top of the bill is David Van Day, a man who's terrified of the dark. Thanks to your votes, he had to face a pitch black tunnel in his first trial. And all we've got to say about that is, well done, viewers. But first, <laughs> yes! When we last saw the group, Silksy had delivered 12 stars and they'd all had a typical Friday night. Plenty to eat and a few drinks, which meant a good night's sleep and a lazy Saturday morning. I woke up and I sat bolt upright and I saw that the fire was absolutely cold. I found a little bit of loo paper and I found a twig and searched through the ash until I found the bit that was warm. And then Brian saw me doing that and went and got some twigs. Don't, for God's sake, don't lose that lovely pocket of air underneath I'm, I'm it. Watching, I'm watching what's... On we must make sure people put enough wood on when they put wood on. Did we almost run out? It was completely out, almost, well... It was, it was cold. One ember. How did you get it started again? I did it with a bit of loo paper and some leaves. Well done for rekindling. It's really hard to restart the fire because we only have a little flint. I don't know who messed it up, but we need to pile the embers together more so that it's more concentrated so that that can't happen. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> oh, you clever boy. Robert woke up like a bear with a sore head, yeah. not realising that the fire was in a very delicate state and started piling logs on top. No, don't do anything, don't Robert, do anything. Robert, Robert, not yet. Don't do anything, no, no, don't no, no, do no, anything. No, 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 no. Now, leave it alone, leave it alone. We've been no, nursing no. this. Brian was trying to stop him and I was trying to stop him, but he plunged on and plowed on and, you know, overriding us. I know what I'm doing. I have like this every single day. You have to, you have huge... something. We've been working on this for half an hour. We've got it from nothing to this point. People get their jobs and they become very, um, um, protective of them. Robert, you are the, you no, are the... You what, Tim Robert, Tim Robert, Tim Robert, Tim Robert, Tim shut up a second. Tim, no, don't do the shit up problem. Don't do that. Are you just going to talk over everybody then? I tell you what I think. Well, let me speak then. I acknowledge your expertise on fires, and if you say that's right to do it, then I think you should do it. That's, that's what I was going to say, OK? Robert told us how it should be done, without listening to why we were doing what we were doing. You just don't listen, Robert, do you? A lifetime of not listening. 
And he went away and had a shave and came back and was much more reasonable. And he said, well, I didn't, I didn't, sorry, I didn't know the fire had, had just gone out. I was, if that's true, I, I'm, and, and I was annoyed, you're right, I'm really sorry. I wouldn't want to do that. Don't you start interfering, George. I mean, pardon? Don't you start interfering. Oh, well, is there... I've spent the last 20 minutes doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they got it going in the end, got the old fire going, but no thanks to Silksy. He just, he just doesn't pay attention, does he? Does he? It's like Esther said, he's, he's had a lifetime of not listening. And it's just rude not listening, isn't it? Isn't it, Ant? Sorry, um, it's seven o'clock, just gone, I think. Yeah, <laughs> nearly. My watch is out, I think. The next I'm a bit slow. Bush took a try. Yeah, you are. The next Bush took a try. It's called Critter. <laughs> it's called Critter Chaos. Which celebrity do you want to see trapped in a jungle coffin while twenty thousand assorted critters rain down on them from above? Simon has been ruled out of this one due to an accident in the Bush battle. We'll bring you that full story later in the show. The phone lines are now open. Here are all the numbers you need. To vote for Brian, it's all I know. Double one, 32, 32, or one. Add or two for Carly. Danny is all three. Esther is all four. Add or five for George. Joe's all six. It's all I know. Double one, 32, 32, or seven for Martina. Nicola is all eight. Add or nine for Robert. David is 11. And Timmy is 12. Calls cost 50p from BT landlines. Calls from other networks may be higher. Mobiles will be considerably more. 15 pence for each call goes to charity. Details of which can be found at itv.com forward slash celebrity. Lines close later in the show. Votes can after that time will not be counted but may still be charged. Now David Van Day has had a frustrating first few days in the camp. Nobody wants to learn cook, nobody wants to give up their bed and nobody wants to give him their seat. But yesterday the group finally found something they were happy for him to do. A bush took a trial. Fantastic. First trial. Fantastic. You're getting a trial. It's lovely. It'd be funny with this. Will you be good today? Make me chin up. Yeah. Make me laugh. I'm sort of pleased to do a trial, and then, uh, then there's the thought of actually not delivering for the other uh, members here. The thing is to come back, try and try. There, of course, there isn't any pressure. If you come back with nothing, that's fine. You know, we'll just beat you up and put you in the bottom of the creek. Come back. It would be fabulous if he did really well, because we celebrated Robert, and then we would celebrate David, and he has not been celebrated in this group. I think it would be the making of him. It would change everything. You know. And who will be watching at home? Your daughters? Oh, yes. OK. Yes. Think of them. <laughs> That's worse <laughs> pressure, Esther. That's worse pressure, honestly. No, no, it's what motivated oh, you. Oh, I Sweetheart, I didn't mean to do that to you. I didn't mean to do that to you. They're already proud of you. They're already immensely proud of you. Come on. I'm a, I'm a great flaming idiot. Come on. I'm an idiot. No, you're not. I'm an idiot. Come on, David. How can I say Top that to you? Man. I just thought Top it man. might, as, you know, it did with Robert. It focused him. Top man. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. No one else has cried when they're told they're going to do the trial. I don't think he's got the Kilroy mental strength. What's he crying about? For f sake. People are weak as f you know. As weak as I don't think we've got a chance in hell of getting any stars with, with David. Well, I'm going to do my best for everybody. Thank you. Da -da. Da -da. I want to really establish myself in the group. So, really, to get the trial is one way of uh, healing this riff that we have. Think of your daughters. Don't do that. Oh, come on. Oh. Think of your daughters. Ooh. Do it for them, yeah? Do it for your daughters. <laughs>